So the only thing that is necessary to pass a clean bill paying the salaries of every man and woman in the Coast Guard is for the Democratic senators to withdraw their objection. Is that correct? That's correct. Thank you. Madam President, I seldom, um, as you know, uh, rise on this floor to contradict somebody on the other side. I've worked very hard over the years to work in a bipartisan way with the presiding officer, with my Republican colleagues. But these crocodile tears that the senator from Texas is crying for first responders are too hard for me to take. They're too hard for me to take. Because when, you sh when the senator from Texas shut this government down in 2013, my state was flooded. It was underwater. People were killed. People's houses were destroyed. Their small businesses were ruined forever. And because of the senator from Texas, this government was shut down for politics. Then he surfed to a second place finish in the Iowa caucuses. But we're of no help to the first responders, to the teachers, to the students whose schools were closed with a federal government that was shut down because of the junior senator from Texas. Now, it's his business, not my business, why he supports a president who wants to erect a medieval barrier on the border of Texas, who wants to use eminent domain to build that wall, who wants to declare an unconstitutional emergency to build that wall. That's the business of the senator from Texas, I can assure you. Then in Colorado, if a president said he was going to use eminent domain to erect a barrier across the state of Colorado, across the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, he was going to steal the property of our farmers and ranchers to build his medieval wall. There wouldn't be an elected leader from our state that would support that idea. Which goes to my final point, how ludicrous it is that this government is shut down over a promise the President of the United States couldn't keep. And that America is not interested in having him keep. This idea that he was going to build a medieval wall across the southern border of Texas, take it from the farmers and ranchers that were there, and have the Mexicans pay for it, isn't true. That's why we're here. Because he's now saying the taxpayers have to pay for it. That's not what he said during his campaign. Over and over and over and over again, he said, the Mex Mexico would pay for the wall. Over and over again. That was that. I was going to talk about what he said about the junior senator's father, but I'm going to let that alone. It was after that. And now we're here with the government shut down over his broken promise while the Chinese are landing spacecraft on the dark side of the moon. That's what they're doing. Not to mention what they're doing in Latin America and with their One Belt, One Road initiative in in, in Asia, that's what they're doing while we're shut down over a promise he never thought he, could, he would never keep and didn't keep. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.